Hello, my name is Langdon. I'm Sabre College, class of 2026, majoring in computer science. Hello everyone, I'm Sasha, also Sabre 2026, and computer science. This is our project, which is a cyberpunk, cyberpunk themed riddle website. Awesome. All right, so let's let's take a look at what you have here. Can you walk me through how I should get started? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So pretty much, uh, plot-wise, you're this net runner who's been thrown into this like kind of deranged maniac's you know own personal puzzle escape room. So okay, you have got to it. Escape. Okay, gotcha. So I heavily suggest against buying the product. All right, do you not buy the product. Do something got else. It. Okay. Well, I, I'm, I'm like really tempted to click it. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. So, create a new account all right. Oh, okay. Maybe, so maybe, maybe I won't do that then. Yeah. So let, let's click on that button instead. Okay. That's, that, that's oh, buying the oh, product. That was the buy. Oh, that was the product. Okay, got yes. it, got it. Okay. Well, let's yeah. try again then. How do, how do I log in? You guys got an you, account? You can just re register. But the thing is. Sure thing. If you, um, if you die. Your yep. account gets locked out, so you can no longer use that one. Oh, wow. So this is a, this a is very permadeath. hardcore game. Yeah. This you, permadeath. You lose yeah. and you're out. Okay, that's awesome. And just log in one more time to confirm. Sure thing. Awesome. Okay. All right. So I see a prompt here to buy the product, but maybe I should click here instead. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. All right. I, agree. I learned my lesson from last time. All right. So what I have here, walk, walk me through this, I read through it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So this is the introductory site where the blue robot called Rogue introduces themselves to you. Gotcha. So if you would go ahead and click escape on the bottom and okay. go to their first riddle. Gotcha. Escape at the bottom. Yes. Yeah, down Just here. scroll down to the bottom. Oh, scroll down to the bottom. Yes, of course. Let's go and do that. Yes. I definitely want to get out of here. Here's <laughs> your first riddle. All okay. the amazing poetry is written by Langdon. Oh, to okay. short in time, the only important part of this riddle are the last two lines. So they are the key to solving it. Gotcha. Let's see. So to progress, uh, to progress, all you need to do is find the solution in the text intertwined. All right. Well, let's see here. Also, you're fascinated with special I suggest reading it very carefully, maybe like with your cursor over the words. With my cursor over the words. Over, so only like, for the last two lines, though. Gotcha. Ah, oh, I see. <laughs> That's clever. So having the link right there. All right, let's go and click on that. Okay, Bit awesome. Pun, yes. Oh, wow. So this this seems familiar. You guys yeah. want to tell me a little bit sure. more about this? Yeah. Yeah, this is hexadecimal. Mm -hmm. And as you know, hexadecimal can code ASCII. Of course. So if you decode it, you can just go to the tab that I've opened up onto okay. the right. Gotcha. So if you decode it, huh? the poem is already there. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> so if only you could undo life. Permanent is life, but not in the cyber world. You need to go back. Okay, I need to go back. All right. So how do you go back in the website? Well, should I just click the back button right here? Yeah, okay, yeah, let's, let's see, see what happens. Yeah. Yeah, congratulations. Wow. Okay. You move on to the next okay. cipher. All right, okay. Yes. So, yeah. boss fight? Yeah. Oh. So, yes. We can go to slash boss fight to skip some riddles here. Yeah, yeah. sure. Thing. Like. Yeah. yeah, feel free. Go yeah. ahead. Yeah. LinkedIn. So the plot is that there's the blue robot who's the good guy, and there's a red robot who is the bad guy. Mm -hmm. And here, the red robot deleted the blue robot and is now oh, okay. giving you the I final see. battle. I see. Okay. Got it. So, so what is this right here? Let's see. That is, unless you know the override key, you can try to override me. Oh wow. Okay. I don't. I don't know the override key. How can I figure that out? Well, look at the next line of dialogue. All right. Yeah. Let's see. Many have tried, but all failed. This is very intense. <laughs> to be honest, I don't think anybody knows the override. I mean, except what for the What letters creators, do you think the key has? Don't leave me hanging. Okay, so it's like Hangman. Yeah. Okay, it gotcha. Is, yeah. All right, okay, very awesome. Nice. All right, so let's start with E, right? That's that's a good yeah. one, right? Very nice. We've had okay. one person guess this correctly. One person, all right. That yeah. was so, a library worker right before you. Wow, yeah. okay, so the pressure's on. All right, so we start with E. Let's let's do a couple more vowels here. Let's, let's do an A. Oh, shoot, okay, I think I just cost a life right there. Okay. Let's try let's try a C, because you know that's what my name starts with. That's always good luck. Okay, awesome. Yeah, nice. Okay. Let's see what else we could do here. Uh, let's let's do an L. No, oh, no, no L. Okay, got it. If you get low on guesses, we'll start giving guesses. Gotcha. Guess. Let's yeah. let's try let's try an S here. I feel like that's pretty common. Okay, so yeah. we got yes. the S. But congrats on guessing the first letter. No one guesses C. Gotcha. Well, yeah. I mean, I feel like I need another vowel here, so how about we try out I don't know, I, I feel lucky we've O? Oh. oh no! Oh, okay. Also, just a hint. Don't guess A. There's no A. Don't guess A. All Everyone right, yeah. Guesses a. I read guess an A. So oh, let's let's okay. try another one. How about? Late. All right. I I'm feeling you know a little bit lucky with I. Let's okay, try. Okay. Yeah. Let's try an I. I will say, remember oh, wait, that the theme I. of okay. the game is cyberpunk, right? Right. Right. Cyberpunk. Yeah. Yeah. This looks like it could be security, right? Well, let's yeah. see. Cyber security. Well, I don't know. All try right. It out. <laughs> let's see. Oh, I, yeah. I think I'm onto something here. All right, we got a B, an R, Dang. a U. We have a new record. Let's a. go. Oh, I, I, I can't yeah. possibly imagine what this one is. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Thank you. This is very clever. This is very right. clever. You get, you get this. this is the ending screen. Okay, awesome. I want to I take a look at this. 
This can't be. Initiate self-destruction. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is our final villain dying. Got it. So the red robot skin deleted right now. Is, is that sequel command? That's nice. Yeah. That's very nice. Whoa, that's and a pretty cool animation. Oh, thank yeah. you. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Well, great job, guys. This is amazing. Thank you so uh, much. I'm, I have so many questions. I mean, let's get started with like, what inspired you guys to make this? I mean, this has a very yes. intricate plot and like a theme and everything. So, like, tell me more. Yeah. yeah. Well, we both had separate ideas about what we wanted our project to be. Okay. Personally, I really wanted to create a cyberpunk themed website mm -hmm. with scam elements like pop up ads. And for me, I just finished a season of Cyberpunk Edge Runners, and I really gotcha. like Cyberpunk. And also, I was, I was, I just wanted to write poems. So yeah, yeah, yeah. we just implemented puzzles, and everything ended up working out really good. Yeah. Yeah. No, this is an incredibly creative project. I mean, well done. Thank uh, you. This must have been difficult to make, I imagine, at some parts, right? Like, what, mm -hmm. were, what was like a big bug they had to overcome or an issue that you had? I know this, this, this one is fun. This one I really like talking about. Yeah. So the thing is, sometimes in websites, we have to use these things called sessions to obviously keep data between it, whether you visit a page or not. Yep. Well, then I found that really annoying to use, and I really didn't like to use it because like there was so much syntax and stuff that I didn't, I didn't want to learn. So instead, I used like a data structure. I made my own class in Python, and then pretty much that stored the data throughout the thing. Because I realized if you put data in a class, you could actually access it, and it would be done synchronously. So that was what allowed you to go back and you know actually see a different page. Right. Right. And fun fact, the synchronous data structure is the backbone of our project. For example, really? so that's like a really key part. Yeah. Wow, At any okay, point yeah. in the game, you can click on answers and get the answer to the project. Mm -hmm. And it gives you a different answer depending on what page you're just on. Also oh, using a data okay. structure. Gotcha. Well, that's a really clever solution. Well yes. done with that. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And I guess, I mean, with such an impressive project, I mean, what part of this project are you that's most good. proud of? Well, personally, I was very heavy into the design, so yeah. I'm so proud of it. Yeah, being I mean, able to find pictures that work well together and using right. my own skills in a computer science program. Mm -hmm. I mean, I especially love the animation at the end when the robot was dying. That was me. Yeah, nice job. How about you? And for me, it's got to be the riddles. The I, riddles? I, I, yeah. I was so happy with yeah. those. Oh, and there was, okay, you didn't get to this riddle, but there was one riddle where you had to read through a bunch of newspapers, and then I wrote the news article for every one of them. There was some complicated oh, lore okay. that goes into so it. So you spent a lot of time on like, the background research and the prep for like the plot line behind the story. I did, yeah. yeah. Wow, I mean, very well done. I mean, this is such an impressive project. Do you guys have any plans on like releasing this to the public? Because I mean, I would love to play this, you know, my free time. <laughs> Maybe if we yeah. can figure out a way to host it. Yes, I agree. Definitely. Gotcha. I mean, well, thanks so much again for showing me this. This is fantastic. I mean, well done again. <laughs> of course, thank you so much for interviewing us. Yeah. We were glad to show it to you. Yeah, and this is CS50. Yeah.